Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a little makeup look using products that I love for my only skin. This, These products are pretty much my holy grail. So I use them mostly during the summer and spring when I'm more oily and stuff. And so let's go ahead and get started and start with the face. So for primer, I'm going to be using one of my holy grail, which is the Angel Bell Nick. Now you guys saw me using this when I did my using my shop my stash in my last video. And you guys know this is something that I've told you worked for me many, many times. It's my second tube. So yeah, I pretty much just love it. It stays on all day. It keeps my makeup from running, not running off. I look cakey. Uh, I could wear foundation for the longest time ever and not feel oily or greasy during the day. So this is definitely something that I love. Also like the Windwall Stay Matte. That's really good too. So for foundation, I'm going to use my Healthy Vitalist Foundation from Physician Formula. I got mine in L1 or LN4. This actually has a Dofra application with it. So this will look like. And for me, I just use the Dofra and just put it on my face. And this I really do like. It's actually my shade and it looks really good. And this also stays on for a really long time. So yeah, I swipe some all over. And then I use, I'm going to use my Will Technique sponge to pat it. And you can see that the color is really good. It's supposed to be a full coverage, but for me, I don't mind. For me, I'm more like a natural type makeup type person. Only because I don't like to wear a lot of makeup. I just like to look natural and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more on. And, you know, just to do a little more building. And you can actually build this up to wherever you like. So, if you want, like, a full coverage, you put some more on. If you like a medium coverage, not so much. You could use, you know, a sponge or a beauty blender like I am. You know, whatever works for you. I just say, you know, do the makeup that you love doing and that works for you. Because not all makeup is going to work for everybody. Especially the skin type or the skin tone. I always go when it comes to my foundation neutral. Because I feel like I really do have like a really neutral undertone. I don't think I have like a pink or orange or any other color undertone on these. And it cover mostly. I do have these like two spots here. But I'm going to use Casilla for that. But this is pretty much why I like my makeup nice and it just looks very, you know, healthy. Like it says, healthy look. So, yeah. Those two combo, like, it makes it amazingly. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using my Holy Grail one, which is my... Maybelline Adri Wine. I have the light and the medium. I love using the light one for underneath my eyes. I feel like it brightens up. And it's a really good, you know, shade for me. I really want to try, like, the new one they have for, like, brightening up. Um, your complexion. So, yeah. Then I'm just going to use, again, the tip of the sponge, and I'm just going to blend all of this out. And you can see it does a great job just covering up my sponge. 
spots that need to be covered. It does great. It, for me, like, it doesn't cake up and it doesn't, like, crease on anything. It, like, blends out so beautifully and effortless. And that's why I love it so much. It does great, like, underneath the eyes and just does an amazing job. So, go ahead and do the other side. A little bit more on here on my spots at Dita. I'm pretty much almost halfway see halfway done with this. So you can see that's how much I love it and that's how much I just love using this. Yeah, and actually today, if you guys want to know, I went to my store and I'm going to use the Bright Up Essence Banana Wand for underneath my eyes. But yeah, I went to my store today because I was ordering, I had to go shopping anyways. And I'm ordering my cake. I'm going to be calling tomorrow and get a consultation. And me and my fiance, we want to definitely just um go there and taste some cake which I'm really excited to do some more wedding planning I'm just really excited to you know get this all done and get the wedding done and not that I'm not enjoying the wedding planning but I got engaged last year and because of the pandemic I couldn't really do any kind of wedding planning that I wanted and it sucked because I had all these plans I got a book and I planned everything and it's just like, man. So, yeah. So we're going to be, I'm calling tomorrow to do a wedding council. And I'm so excited to do some more of another step of that. So we're getting close. So, yeah. And the Holy Grail mat. And I'm using Renoir Stain Mat. You can see how long I've used because it actually rubbed off. But this is in Stan, Stan Storm. But this is something that I love, 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 love using. It actually, once I put this on between the primer and the foundation, like this, I would literally, and the setting spray, I will not crease, get cakey, I will stay matte and gold free for most of the day. And I love it. So yeah, this, that, these are my holy grills. This has been my holy grill for like years. I think my sick one that I bought. But yeah. Next for bronzer. We're going to be using the ultra natural bronzer. For that. Because even though I look matte. I still want to look bronzed. I don't want to look flat. Because you can see like I look flat. Like I have no dimension. No nothing. So I still want to have that bronze look, even though I look matte. And this does a great job. This actually reminds me of either my Zisha Formula 1 or my Marc Jacob one. And I'm using my Johannes. I love this brush. It gives you that nice, beautiful, bronzy look. And it puts in the right place where you look really bronzed. So, like, I want dimension. I don't want to be, like, constantly, you know flat so yeah I mean I'm excited we are definitely you know getting things rolling getting things done and so next will be the actual getting the flowers and getting the food so we're getting close for powder again you know so I got this Gigi gorgeous one that I got in Ipsy look like that. it has like two double size it's a thick and pride so you have the matte side and the glowy side you can either mix together or you could do one matte one shimmery it does really not shimmer but I like mixing this together so 
So I like using my Holy Grail brush. So I like that on it because I know I got it out. So I, again, you know, it's all about, and I like mixing it together. It gives like this pretty cool blush. In this way, you know, I may look matte, but I still have that glow and that dimension. And, you know, it's not all like, oh my God, it's boring and she'll have no color. It's all matte this and matte that. So, yeah, and you can see it gives like a beautiful glowy cheek. And then for highlight, this I'm trying to figure out for highlight. So I actually decided to go ahead and use one of my favorite ones I have got. This is my first highlight. It is beautiful. This is by Luna, and that's the swatch of it. You can see how glowy it is. But I got this for Ipsy called Calypso, and that's what it looked like. It's very, very, very beautiful. So, yeah, I want to bing and I want to glow and I want to be bronzed. So, yeah, I'm going to use my Wool Technique one and see the glow. Like, literally, see a glow, not glow, glow, not glow. <laughs> and you can see it's beautiful. And it just give you that beautiful glowy within type one. And you know, I put some brand nose, cupid's bow, and all that. So I want to be bronze, glowy, and I just love it. And that's what I learned about heavy oily skin. Is like, yeah, okay, you have a matte primer, you have a matte foundation. But you could still be bronzy, you could still be glowing, you could still have that dimension. So I'm going to use my bling brush to go over everything and make sure everything is complete and look put together. And this is why I use my spray. And for my spray, I use the Makeup Milani Make It Last. This is my third bottle. I have a backup because that's how good I love the spray. Beautiful. The where the makeup is beautiful and I just love it. And you can see the glow, you can see. So I'm gonna let that dry. And then we are going to do my eyes. And I think for today, I'm gonna do a nice simple look. Now come to my face. I want to make sure everything stays. When I come to my eyes, so I'm not really going out or anything like that, you can definitely see the glow. And <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite highlights. First favorite highlight I ever got. It kind of like purpley, but I don't mind that. It doesn't really look purpley at all, if you could see. But it's just one of those beautiful highlights that you like. Um, not decluttering, this is something that I want to keep. For a long time. It actually in my A to Z Project Pan. And again when I come to Project Pan. You guys will see my first Project Pan. For my spring and summer. Coming up. You guys will get pictures. And progress and everything. And because I know that you have to do really detailed work on that. And you have to make sure you mark where you was last. All the way to where you are at that update. Um, With that I usually update every couple of months every month I think last year I did it I did it every couple of months and it's just for me easier because you, you could definitely see the difference between the beginning of it and then a couple months later how it literally how much I've used so yeah so now this is dry I am actually going to do my eye so we're going to of course use my Milani eye primer. Love this. And then for my shadow, 
Now this is more like an everyday shadow. This is from the Wet Wild Walker Angels. I know that we formulate this because when I was younger, I when I bought the Wet Wild, I bought like the six pans. So I know that we formulate, and I know the Walker Angels, one of the most popular ones that a lot of people loved. But this will look like it just one, you know, four shades, very easily. But I am going to use my bronzer to deepen up the crease. But let's go ahead and do my eyes. So we're just going to do my eyes and put that on. And again, you guys know I love to set this only because... Yeah. If you don't mind, like, the noise... You will always probably hear my fiance because I'm filming like the um, a few days before I put this up because I work all this next week, Monday through Friday. And you guys know that my uploads are always on the weekends. So I don't have time to film the day before I put this up. So I have to do it a few days again. A few days before so yeah you'll probably always hear like my fiance's voice or my kids voice out in the front room because live in the apartment you really don't have good sound you can't really you know disconnect the sounds and everything so you'll probably hear those type of sounds so yeah let's go ahead and I'm gonna use the top shade which is the matte right there and again, you guys know I love using my favorite one, which is this one right here. So I'm just going to take that. Then I'm going to use my bronzer to do a little deepening up on the crease. And this is going to be a simple, easy, you know, everyday look. You have this beautiful glow and this beautiful bronze look. And you can see it's just one of those light you know shades so let's go ahead get those on then after this I'll go ahead and do my eyebrow and it's just gonna be a simple eyebrow look I'm just gonna actually put my um gel eyebrow gel in and I always do that when you know just it just for me quicker and easier sometimes just do it that way so I'm going to use my bronzer from ultra to do a little deepening up on the crease so this is going to be a little deepening so you can see it did a little deepening on the crease So this is going to be, you know, pretty much a normal, you know, look. So for my eyelid, I'm going to use the pink right here. Actually, let me get the light. So that will look like pink. And I'm going to use my flat shade brush that I love. You guys know this is my favorite one. Great all over the lid and you know and then sometime I do go back with my finger and I will you know do it that way if I feel like it's not showing up the way I want to and again you hear my kids so I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just gonna do it that way much faster and you can see the glow and this you can see it's more like a pinky type shade and then I'm gonna use you can see more clearly when I do my finger and then I'm probably gonna use a bronze in this just do like the outside and you can see it pink and everything okay so I'm gonna use 
my clean brawling brush which you guys know I love and this and then I'm going to use my bronzer and do some more deep bit up because I feel like that it's not only really deep it up but I'm going to use my small taper brush from Lux just to get into that crease and then I'm going to use the bronze pot in the palette to do a little probably like outside bronze okay and then I'm just going to use my finger and get some more of that on my lid that way it won't be dissipating Then I'm going to actually take my bronzer and try to do a little bit on the outside. Just to make, you know, dimension and all that. But yeah, then I'm going to use again my clean runny blush brush and just... I feel like that it's not really showing up. And then we'll just blend everything together that way look nice and cohesive. And you can see, you know, it's just a nice, simple, everyday look. And then for in a corner, I'm going to use this right here, the white shade. These don't have names on them, so I don't know what they are called. They're just called, you know, crease and inner corner and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this to you can see how beautiful that is. That is like holy freaking moly. So I like to connect it to my inner corner. And you can see nice and beautiful. And then I'm going to use my brightener for highlight. And I'm going to use that to bright up. That way it looks nice and beautiful. And again, I'm just going to use my finger. And I like doing it this way because I feel like it works a lot better. And then for my eyebrows, again, you guys know I'm going to use my e.l.f. Brow Wow Gel. And I got this in medium. And this does a great job, especially just give it like some depth and stuff, depth. And, you know, it just makes your eyebrow looks amazingly and beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys have only skin, I do suggest that, you know, if you want your makeup to last for a long time, some of these projects are really cheap and they're not that expensive and to me they work and you know I want to use something that doesn't work for me I work for my skin tone I work it just feel like that it works the best and I just feel like you know I try products several over over several different time kinds and I feel like that these between the primer, the foundation, and the powder, this works for me. And I use stuff that works, especially when I know how much my skin gets oily. Okay, so now we got the eyes and the brow set done. We have mascara. So for mascara, I'm going to be using my Lan. Lori Geller New York one. So that's the tube of it. This is what look like. And let's go ahead. And I love this. I feel like that it does as great as my Bambi lashes. And I feel like that it makes my eyelashes look full and vibrant and amazingly. And I feel like that it does work 
and it makes me again you know I love it like that like you could see the flutter and the separation and everything and I just love mascaras like that next we're gonna do my lip so for lips, I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Lip Perfection. This is actually one of my... favorite lip product. Then after that, we're going to be going ahead and use my... So this is what it looked like. That's my CoverGirl one. And I'll get a swatch. So that's the color of it. Very beautiful. And you can see... I've used quite a bit of it. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. So I'm going to actually move you guys closer. That way you guys can see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to line my lips. You guys can see it's a very beautiful pinky sheen. Almost matches my lip color in a way. But yeah. And then for lip, we're going to use my Ultra Lip Color and Newly Interruption. I figure with the um, natural look of the eye, I figure that would be best color. It's kind of bold. It kind of does match my... And that's the swatch of it. But it does match the lip so let's go ahead and see. How beautiful it is. And this is actually perfect with the lip color you can see. You got the natural pink in the on the eyelid. And it kind of does a good job. But these are very smooth, very creamy. I love Ultra Lip One. And this is actually my first lip product from them that I didn't expect. I actually got a Ultra Kit that had like a lot of lip products and eye products and everything. I declared most of it because they really didn't work for me. And the shades was really good. And a lot of them were powdery and not really what I like. But the lip product very 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 beautiful okay so let's go ahead and take my hair down and clips and get my glasses back on so I can see the bad thing about being a youtuber and me styling and trying to do this out my glasses it's hard for me to see who I am but as you can see let me get my glasses on and that way I can see what I look like the whole nine yards so it's fine when my glasses are. Sometimes I have to hunt for them because of that. I know I have my glasses. There we go. So here are the glasses. There we go. So you can see it's very shiny, but it looks matte and it look I mean this is literally gonna stay on all day, even when it's hot out there and I may be a little bit oily, but not much if I use like a hydrating primer or a hydrating foundation. Those I keep during the fall and winter. But yeah, I know you can still see spots and all that, but I personally like this makeup look. Very beautiful, but that is everything for my makeup that I use for my oily skin. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. And make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when I upload next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.